My Hero Academia. My Hero. Okay. So fucking, did Hawks kill Best Genus or just like hide him somewhere? Oh, uh, I'm just going to say hide until we get more confirmation. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, so, you never know, right? Go ahead. You, you never know. Oh, yeah. Could, uh, could be, could have uh, been one of those, one of those things where, uh, it was like, um, oh, I'm going to act like I killed him, but I actually didn't because I'm a double agent. Well, <laughs> we already know what we are. He, like, we already know he's actually. See, now I'm, I'm losing track of all the doubles he is. He, he he is actually a double double agent, and he's not really for the League of Villains, right? He's working for the government peoples. That's what I'm going to call them, the government peoples, to infiltrate League of Villains. Correct. Yep. Okay, so we know that. So the way I look at this is, you, you know, and I'm pretty sure, and, and correct me if I'm wrong because I'd have to go back and read this chapter, but I'm pretty sure, like, the people he was working for basically told him, like, do any, do whatever you have to do. Any, any means necessary. We, we will make sacrifices to take down this, this league, right? Yeah. Um, and, and you see Hawks, too. Hawks says in this chapter, never underestimate a man what a man will do when he's trying to, you know, complete the mission, you know, when he's hell bent on doing this thing. So like Hawks, you know, it's not something he wants to do, but he's very much an honor bound, not honor bound. Like when you're like devoted to the mission, you're devoted to the cause, you'll do anything, you know, workaholic. Yeah, I guess in a way, like what's fascinating about this is that you can tell he doesn't want to do it. In fact, like when, when best genus is like, yeah, I'm going to get back out there soon. And he's like, well, that's a shame. Fuck, you know, like, like you can tell he's like, damn it, you know. <laughs> so, he, I think he looks at it as for the greater good, and hopefully, eventually, they'll understand my story, right? Like, um, a good good example. This might be a really obscure reference, but there's a guy named. Do you know who Dennis Rodman is? Dennis Rodman. Yeah, I think he's a, either a basket. I think he's a basketball player. I could be very wrong. All I know about him is that he's like a dude who constant, who like literally is an American celebrity who goes over to fucking like North Korea and hangs out with Kim Jong Un, and and like everyone oh, is, oh, yeah, 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 and everyone's like, God, I hope that he like comes out in like ten years and realizes or and like reveals like, yeah, I was working for the CIA and like getting intel on this guy. So like, I know you guys all thought I was crazy and an asshole, but I was actually the good guy, right? He hasn't to clarify, but that's like the theory, right? That a lot of people like jokingly say. So, like, that's kind of what Hawks is doing right now. Like, he's like, I'm going to be looked at as a prick by all these people I'm fucking with. And it might even come out, like, it might even come out, like, you know, if, if whatever I did to Best Genius comes out, I could be looked at as a fucking terrorist, villain, whatever the fuck. But he's looking at it as greater good. Eventually, I'm going to be seen as a hero and because this job will be done and people will know that I was doing what I had to do to get in with the League of Villains. Because Dobby, he's being smart. He's being paranoid. He's like, no, no I do it again with a different, different hero. Do it. I want to see it again. Someone different this time, you know. So like, because remember he yeah. tried he tried to get get um, Endeavor, you know that he was like, don't do it with the number one hero this time. This let's let's try to disappear someone a little lower on the chain of command this time. So yeah, I love it. It's a fascinating dynamic with that for sure. Fascinating development. So by the way, you know we so we know the the Hulk is coming, right? Yep. So he oh, he's, 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 oh he's, lord, he's coming. He's smelling some Sigaraki right now. So, I, so my he's theory, smelling the musk of a fucking so you, man theory, child in his mid thirties, late twenties. My bored. theory about this, this guy just fuck, just fuck, forget everyone else is targeting fucking Sigaraki. <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't know. I would love that. Like they think, bro. Just tell me how beautiful this would be, okay? Because like this is completely going off of Thurman Sphere theory, all right? They're like, okay. We're leaving some scrubs for this guy. There's going to be plenty of scrubs. They'll fucking take each other out, right? And they think that's going to happen. And then it just cuts to fucking this, like, uh, is, I, I've been pronouncing it Gigio something or other. I don't, I, I don't want to. It's funny. You see what you do to me, comment section? You make me scared to pronounce anything. Because I'm like, I don't even want to fucking go there and get the comments on my ass. The Hulk Bro, motherfucker. I like, I, I will take on the comment section. Right. I, I have been, actually. I have been. Oh, really? Have you been fucking sassing, bitches? 
right in the videos I have. Oh, okay. I was like, I didn't see that. But no, so like, just imagine like hard cut. They're like, yes, this is our plan. He's gonna, they're gonna take out each other. It's genius. Hard cut to fucking this guy just rampaging. Like, there's just crowds of people. They think he's gonna stop and fight him. He just runs through them at Shigaraki. Like, go, 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 go. I need it. I need that in my life. Bro, because there's so much stuff, like, backing this theory. Like, he's, like, he literally just, like, up, oh, master successor. There you fucking are. And then he's just, like, he's, <laughs> like, he's fucking. There you cause, fucking are. Because, uh, yeah, I'll even, I'll even consider it be, like, he's, like, he runs in. And he And, like, someone, like, the Louis Army is, like, look, they have an ally. Everyone target him. And then he literally just runs. I think he's like, just going to run right past him. Like, yeah. <laughs> Runs the train. He's like fucking Shikaraki. <laughs> like, uh, uh, and then it's gonna be like a we have an army. No, we have a Hulk moment where he's just like takes Shikaraki by the foot. Like, <laughs> so it's just fucking crazy how this is going down. So I also like too. By the way, I wanted to point out. I love what I love in this chapter too is now that twice is because apparently twice is fucking op. Like, like, single-handedly. Like, he's like, all right, everybody take five. He literally told fucking Shigaraki, like, you can take a nap. I'll even have one of your clones rock you to sleep. Like, like you've been up for a long time. You're kind of going nuts. Um, and a side note, I still love the crazy faces that Shigaraki's pulling. But he's just like, you you need some sleep. Let me handle this, right? But Shigaraki's like, no, you're too emotionally attached. You're going to – I think he thinks he's going to do something stupid because he's like, he likes Giran too much, right? So he doesn't want to go to sleep. But I did love that scene. Bro, so I, I I like the the Liberation Army, not Liberation Army, the fucking uh, the League of Villains' interactions here. It seems very natural. Oh yeah, they all seem like legit friends. This is the one thing we've missed. Well, I don't know about your legit friends, but uh, I think some of them are friends. I think some of them consider themselves like comrades, coworkers, brothers in arms. You know, like maybe they look at each other the same way I would look at someone at like a political rally. Like, yes, you're an ally in this movement. You know. So it's just. Uh, I, I like the interactions they have because twice it's like they'll bowl the whole thing to, all together, right? So it's just it's just kind of cool. So it's short, it's a very short chapter, but you know, um, yeah, I think this one was a bit longer than the other ones, at least. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's what I mean. So like, it's uh, I don't know, man. Like this, uh, to me personally, it feels like this chapter is extremely straightforward, and I like that. You know, because yeah. it's just like we talk about hawk stuff, and then we had the. Uh, don't we forget, twice, uh, tw- twice, twice did, uh, yeah, well, twice came in and like he basically like tackled them to the ground to save them from that torrent of like everything. So that was kind of cool. Um, let, not let's... someone who has the chair chair for the, your yeah, 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 yeah. The politician has a seemingly similar power to the leader of the Revolutionary Army in One Piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your favorite fruit. You're like, oh my god, this fruit is fucking amazing. Whoa, yeah, but. Ben- not Where's the this series. fucking whoa? What's the salt going on? What the hell is this? There's no salt. I'm just I'm calling you out on your. <laughs> you know I have your... PTSD about that because that when that chapter came out, that was when I was like tier three on King Lightning Street. Like you know, King Lightning, you can be a tier three and you can like get on his streams and talk to him about the chapter and shit. King mm-hmm. Lightning did the same ass shit, bro. He was like mad. So he he thought I was an idiot for liking that fruit. He was like, oh, that sounds like some bullshit to me. And he was so. And then I I tried to make a. This is one of my favorite moments. I I gotta find the video and like link it. I got fucking shut down because I you know I'm a political guy. I talk about Bernie Sanders yada yada. But like I was like making the metaphor like okay see here's why the cheer cheer fruit's cool. It's uh I'll, I'll I will edit this and put a thing to skip because this is one piece. But I was like, here's one of the other cheer- fruits. Cool. Okay, you have like the metaphor here. At least for me, someone who's wanted to change the country. I see, I see directions this country can go. But the hard part is always changing public opinion because there's like. 10% of the population on the far right side and 10% of the population on the far left side. And then you have that middle chunk that just is apathetic and doesn't give a fuck about politics. And if you could get that middle chunk to care, that's how you change the country. So I was sitting here saying all this to King Lightning. I'm like, see, and that is why that, that Cheers Your Fruit is the coolest ass fruit because you can basically ch- just create a movement and change the world with that fruit. And you want to know his fucking response was to me? He was like, I don't know. That sounds like some SJW bullshit to me. <laughs> I was just like, oh, okay. And I was just quiet the rest of the time. And I was like, I don't think I'm going to be your tier three guy anymore. <laughs> I love you, but I don't know if I can talk on these anymore. <laughs> I'm to an SJW for liking the tier two fruit. I'm dead. I'm dead. 
if Pink Lightning is one thing, it's he really. I get the vibe that he's more right leaning in politics, which is hilarious. I mean, maybe not right leaning, but like, I know I've I've heard him like like every time he brings up anything, it like. If anyone tries to say like, hey, that might have been rude, or like, hey, you know, you, that thing you said there may be a little sexist. He's he gets so like, fuck you about it. I'm like, what? And of course, he's got that thing where like he refuses to do anything unmanly. Like he literally won't say kia. Like whenever there's a kia, he's like, no, I'm not saying kia. I'm gonna go a manly kia. kia. <laughs> so he's one of those. <laughs> kia. So yeah, that was my tangent. I'll put a little fucking. I, I will actually edit this and put a here skip the, here. But I, that story had to be told, and maybe I'll. I'm gonna try to find that video because it. It should be easy to find. I'll just have to scroll through for when he fucking shut me, shut my ass down. It was so awkward too, because I was just like, "Oh right, not everyone likes politics like me." This is your quirk right now. The cheer, the cheer and cheering on people right now. Yeah, so that's Mold. cool. I dig that. Um, and you know, I I gotta just second second this up, like say it again, because I know I said this before, but I really like the Liberation Army motive. It's I, I like what he's saying here because his whole thing, <clears throat> he is legit speaking like a motivator or a politician would his whole thing is like listen guys this is why you need to be motivated here because like if we as a town with no like professional heroes just the townspeople if we can defeat the league of villains the famous ass league of villains if the townspeople just defeat this these people look at what that does to our cause we say hey bitches do we need any of your fucking pro hero asses no we didn't. And you want to know how we didn't fucking die? Because people weren't just like, oh, well, it's the law. I guess I can't use my quirk to defend myself. I guess I can't use my quirk in public because it's the law. No, they fought back and we minim- and we and we didn't just all die. That is literally you know, what they, they could do. That That is because that's how you sway public opinion. You have a massive movement like that and a, and a, and a massive news story. And they had like this two pronged attack. They were going to use Toga for like an opinion piece story and then they were going to have this like town story like oh and also this town with no pro heroes just defeated the league of villains because they used their quirks that is actually genius i love it never mind the fact that millions of millions of people are dying right now yes millions is over exaggeration but my (laughs) my take on this is the way they could spin it is if we hold on the way they could spin it though is like let's say they beat the league of villains now right like let's say like yes all those people died but then they, they beat them, right? They could say, yes, we had a lot of casualties, but arguably, if we didn't fight back, the whole town would have died. Yeah. That's what they would say. See the Ooh, point? Smartness. Smart. It's all about how you spin it, bro. That's why I want to be a politician. <laughs> boom, boom. So, this, uh, this chapter, so, end, we're ending off with fucking twice... Cl- over here yo Somehow. first of all can we just appreciate that that art bro like korakoshi with his goddamn Kora. art the perspective like, he's doing shit with art that i didn't even know you could do i'm like damn you can draw that that's a thing you can draw Ugh. i like that angle too it's so good like angles people oh, dude bro People don't underestimate. I'm tired. People don't fucking give the respect to angles. People underestimate angles. That sounds so stupid. That's the stupid thing I've ever said in my life. But seriously, when you're watching like a crazy ass fight, right? You know how easy it is to just be like, all right, here's the camera. Here's your boring ass camera angle where it's just, oh, here it is. Boring camera angle, boring camera angle. But when you have the foresight to like, you know, shift it up a bit, that really gets you into it because all of a sudden, shit's changing and because the human mind is very like we get bored when when we see a repeating pattern it's like okay we're bored right but like when you do shit like this it just keeps the the reader engaged it's one of the reasons as much as i love togashi and hunter x hunter people don't like that manga (laughs) the uh, like nux taku is one of them he's like i i love hunter x hunter's anime but i can't read the manga because it bores me and yada yada why because it's just kind of like mostly text boxes and then like you know just like you're average ass art i love it because i have a creepy love for togashi and hunter x hunter and it's my shit and i can deal with it but like for the average reader they like this like angle change and i i love little things like that it's the little things man that keep people invested in manga and horror yeah. is not only because here's the thing it's two separate things art skill like how good you draw and, and and like the the, the angle you, because when you're drawing you're creating an imaginary camera angle it's something you don't think about like if you're like, like if you're animating, for example, you got to think about, like, yeah, it's easy to just have, like, a, you ever see that famous stick fight animation where it's just two stick fight stick figures or, like, stick men animating or fighting? 
Yep. That's like that's like one angle, right? And that is entertaining. But like uh, now imagine like one of those fight scenes you see. Like go back and watch Gon Hisoka in the Hunter X Hunter 2011 anime. The camera angle in that fucking fight is going nuts. One of my favorite ones is where Gon gets kicked by Hisoka and the camera literally follows Gon as he spins and you see the, the lighting go around Gon's face and Gon's spinning and the camera spinning with him. In that fight, you feel sucked in. You feel like you're there with Gon because the camera angles are so um, dynamic and they just they're, they're, they suck you in. They're immersive. So yeah, that's just my little rant on how important angles are because... They literally are. Like, like it's the little things like that. I love it. So anyway, back to the actual meat of that. Because I had to rant about how good that is. Go. Oh, you, you, you literally stopped. You look, bro. Yeah, because you were the one that wanted to talk about the meat, bro. I cut Bitch, you off. You, yo, you... Oh, God. I said, back to just... the meat. Go. <laughs> you just... You just like you cut off a bit, bro. What the hell? Anyway... <laughs> So twice this is out of nowhere just fucking comes in. So it, it begs the nowhere. question. It, it, it begs the question. Did twice just fight the gorillas dude or something like that or like? No, bro. The going gorillas on? dude was going over to Toka. Oh wait, fuck. <laughs> you, you're that's right. The, <laughs> that's the same elevator, bro. Like, like they must have met. Like, bro. <laughs> look, look at twice, right? This twice literally saved the saved this dude, saved his boy, or was that? Knocked out the goons. Like, no, he didn't save his boy. Never mind. He fucking... Twice saved his beat up, world. Beat up some motherfuckers, and he's ha- putting some hair down or some shit. And, like, bro, <laughs> like, what's that going on? That is interesting. I'm glad that you mentioned that, because I didn't even think... So, yeah, like, that would be legit hilarious, and it would be in fitting with the theme, because remember how uh, the, the journalist woman who you were, like, con- Vinced was going to be like super strong, just literally got like lifted up into the air and then fell to her death. <laughs> like, now I just want a shot where, like, next chapter he's talking to the leader of the Liberation Army here. He's like, What happened to the gorillas, dude? And then he's just like, Oh, that guy? I thought it was like the. the I thought it was just a random guy in the elevator. I fucking killed him. <laughs> that was that an important guy? <laughs> Bro, that I shit's... would die. Oh, my hair coat. I would be okay with that. <laughs> Actually, look at shit. Uh, no, I would be 100% okay with that. Anything that subverts my expectations, I'm down. Like, I would love it if the fucking League of Villains just, like, fucking steamrolled the, this motherfucker. Here's the thing, right? What if they come in, they steamroll, but then the leader gets away, and then he, like, sets up a new group with, like, better people? I- I'd be down, honestly. Because <laughs> he looks like he's, about to, he's not about to be one-shotted. So, I mean... Who? The uh, fucking leader, or, or... The leader. I, I swear Yo, to God, he's... <laughs> He gets one shot at I'm like that that's gonna hear Koshi quality is dropping. Bro, you you no no, you're a little baby back bitch, honestly. That shit would be so fucking stupid. I hate it. I hate it. I don't like it. I'm 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 just saying what you're saying. I don't like it. No. Well here's the thing. It's all about how it's done. If you fucking blow my mind and just like have the league like it reminds me of see like I can't make the I can't use Promise Neverland. See, I like Promise Neverland's first arc, so I can't, but, but you're going to fucking, you're like, no, bro. See, okay, I'll give you an example. In Promise Neverland, I actually thought that the way that they escaped really quickly was kind of interesting because the way it was spun was like, oh, the kids were actually, like, way smarter than you expected, right? And they, they like, threw off um, Isabel and everything, right? So, like, I would take it in the same way where it was like, again, I don't need that to happen, but I wouldn't mind it either. Uh, as long as, this is the point I'm making, right? So, like, let's say... You know, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. Oh, perfect example. Okay, in the, in the um, Android saga on Dragon Ball Z, right? When F- Mecha Frieza and his dad comes back, and Trunks just one shots them. You remember that? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's sick. You know how many people reading Weekly were probably pissed? Think about it. Yeah, you're but not then, wrong. But then, all of a sudden, new threat. That's all I'm saying. So if, if Horikoshi wanted to go down that route where he made us think this was a threat, then it wasn't. But then it actually, like, came back, and yes, it is now, right? Like, with some slightly different alterations. I wouldn't mind that. Of course, yeah. if, if, if they just steamroll these fuckers and then arc over, yes, that'd be fucking bullshit. See, you, 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 know how to, you know how to make me happy, my boy. See, that shit is perfect for me. Bro, using Android Saga. <laughs> Thank you. I'm proud of that, that- metaphor. <laughs> That is genius. Like, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. 
child infection. Can we give? Can we just give, give a moment to just clap for Red? That <laughs> shit was fucking genius. That comparison was fucking. Thank you. Thank no, you. I'm not even bullshit. <laughs> I'm that watching. shit was fucking like I was like, wow. I'm sucking his dick right now, physically and mentally <laughs> Jesus, right now. You really like that metaphor, wow. huh? Yeah, this is good. It's just like a right place at the right time. Because <laughs> you were like super against what I was saying, and now you're like, oh, I get it, right? You made it easier to understand. <laughs> you made it easier. Yeah, this is this, why. This, this is like. It's what I do, Thurman. Uh, final thoughts, predictions for you. So let's end that on a high oh. note. So I want to see this Rudestro fight. I want to see what his quirk's like. I yeah, also. Because all, all we, really... we saw him snap the mouse dude's neck, and then like, like a symbol happened on his fucking face or something i also want to see um the, see if my theory becomes true or not the hulk just fucking going straight for shikaraki oh, that would be funny you know those fucking thomas the tank engine memes where he's just we like to party that's amazing and then um that's about it. Uh, I want to see. I want to see what's going on with Dobby right now. I want to see because man, because one of the best parts about the last chapter we did with My Academia is just like <laughs> we find out that Dobby's flesh is being burned by his own quirk. So we're like, I mean, we're so fucked up immediately. Like instead of just thinking like, oh, it's a side effect. Of yeah, his we quirk, were like, like clearly it's like fucking that. child abuse, right? <laughs> we're like clearly like Holy this man endeavored to roast his kid alive. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, maybe that. Do you think that factored into the internet's fucking meltdown about him having a redemption arc? All, and Twitter was like, "How dare you forgive people? People should be unforgivable. Continue to hate your own kind." <laughs> it's actually funny how everyone like got mad at the endeavor and endeavor of redemption arc. Like he was gonna be evil forever. Bro, you gotta love how fucking sick and disgusting people are on Twitter, bro. Like, like I'm like. <laughs> I get it, man. Like, if you want to not, like, if someone fucks with you and fucks you up your life in the past, and yeah, you have every right to be, get that person out of your life. You don't have to fucking forgive them. I get it. But for like a mass of people to be like, what? A person who was once bad is now doing good things? This makes me mad. That's stupid. You're dumb. <laughs> It's funny too because you can definitely tell that like some my hair academia fans are just like it's like their first series ever. Ah, so it's like, yo, it's, yeah, no, my hair academia like, did kind of have it's like a Dragon Ball Z for a new generation, isn't it? Because I'm just like because if you got the mad at Endeavor's redemption arc, then I have I, I, I have, have news been, for you. I have some bad news for you in <laughs> many videos, other series. I have bad news. For you. What's like the worst villain that's been redeemed? Like, like some fucked up... Oh, I gotta think. Let me see. Well, Did, Hunter Hunter. No, you know. The, who, Mary, who gets Mary redeemed? Got... Hisoka... I wouldn't... Cons- if you're thinking Hisoka, he definitely didn't get redeemed. What, well, uh, your, are, are you going Meruem? Yeah. Definitely got Meruem redeemed. did skewer a kid alive with his tail. In front of its <laughs> parents. I mean, technically he did get redeemed, though. It's true. Yeah, He yeah. didn't want to kill humanity anymore. Well, anyway, uh, but yeah, going back to the main point, we thought when we saw Dobby's burns, and, you know, we're working under the assumption that he's a Todoroki family member, we thought it was child abuse. Um, maybe, I guess not. <laughs> but, maybe, uh, who knows? I mean, we'll never it know. It could still be child abuse. Uh, child abuse. Child abuse. He was hoping. Holding out hope for that one. Kidding. Yo, that's, that's, that's a separate video, that Endeavor shit. That's a separate video right Is there. Dobby child abuse? Ca- ca- calling out all the My Academia stands. Stands. What? Yeah. Those court? of you who don't know, uh, oh, stands, a lot of my... like people that are S T A N S. Yes, S T A N S. Oh, I thought you said stands like JoJo, and I was very confused. You no, know, they don't. They don't deserve a stand. You know, because okay. you know a lot of a lot of My Academia stands out here have been uh, targeting Black Clover, saying that the series is going to end. Spreading misinformation, so They're saying that the Black Clover series is going to end. the The same guy that said that he wanted to make it as long as One Piece in an interview that that series. Yeah, that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, that this this is how bad the My Academia fans have become. Well, again, they're lying. They're lying. If fandom in... gets big enough, it's going to be toxic. Oh. That's just pure oh. numbers. That's math. Here, here he goes. It, 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 bro, I can't stand this. Like certain fandoms are more toxic than other bullshit. No, get out of here. 
It's just the amount of people, bro. Unless, <laughs> like, the, the thing itself is promoting toxic shit. So, like, for example, Alex Jones's fandom, if you could even call it that, probably pretty toxic. That makes sense. But if it's just like, okay, Sonic the Hedgehog, <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog should have no reason to have a toxic fan base. It's just a cute little game about a hedgehog. Oh, my God. But it got toxic because of, like, the meme culture around it, the furry culture that was already there unironically. You know what I mean? And, and just in general, consider it this way. Let's just say, statistically speaking, this is not accurate at all, but let's just say one out of ten people, psychopath, right? It's somewhere around there, I'm pretty sure, okay? So if you take one out of ten people being a psychopath, and you got, like, random indie game number 37 over here. Wow, this fandom's so great because there's, like, three people in the fandom, so no psychopaths. Wow, great. Take Undertale, who's, what, how many millions of people? That's probably a couple hundred thousand psychopaths, and there you go. That's the math behind it. You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, that's going in the new channel trailer. I just have to remember about it. Dab. Alright. <laughs> and with that. And with that sick hot dab. Peace. 8 out of 10. Chapter peace. Okay. Peace again. <laughs> <laughs>